Okay, so our first story today is about Harvey Weinstein, or Weinstein, we know him. He's part of the sexual abuse cases that have been going on since last year. Mm -hmm. Today, he was brought to court in mm -hmm. New York City. We see, we've seen him in handcuffs mm -hmm. coming out of the courthouse. Mm -hmm. He turned himself in today, and his accusers took to social media to chime in on their reactions to what happened. Mm -hmm. But before we get to those, I mean, look his at this. lawyer. Mm -hmm. look, look how historic oh, this it. is. It starts off as an article. It starts off as journalism, and oh, then here we are. Look at I mean to interrupt you, but this is this is this huge. is the perp walk, right? right and this yeah. is what all of these women have been wanting for so long and quietly mm -hmm. right. amongst their family and friends, or maybe just alone with their thoughts, and mm -hmm. then this happens. So remember, he's only br being brought in to be charged. Uh, he, he is denying this, but again, that, that moment is historic considering where we've been with this story. More, Sorry, go ahead. More no, than 80 fine. women have come forward saying that he's done. Yeah. 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 And, and the, the charges or the accusations range from all, all out rape mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. just like sexual harassment. Right. So many victims. And you know, you've heard the stories about how, you know, these women in Hollywood have had to deal with this and it was kind of like this underlying mm -hmm. secret that they've, it's the name behind so many of some mm -hmm. of our favorite movies, and they've mm -hmm. had to put up with this yep. mm -hmm. for years, just boggles my mind. To me, what today stands for mm -hmm. is that this man, a powerful man, could do no wrong for so long, and mm -hmm. he was violating people exactly. left and right, and these women felt like they didn't, they couldn't say anything. No mm -hmm. one would believe, you mm -hmm. know, believe them. They'd exactly. have no voice. And today we're saying that's not true. You do have a voice. Everybody mm -hmm. has a voice. So these so allegations like, all stemmed from two women, actress Paz de la Huerta, and then we have Lucia Evans. And like we were talking about before, mm -hmm. they're just two of the 100 women that came forward and called him a rapist, who called them a sexual predator. Mm -hmm. And now they're hoping that Hollywood will turn their eyes onto the other mm -hmm. men that are also being accused or haven't even come forward yet. Debbie um, is... Uh, chatting with us she asked a question but isn't he out on bail already unfortunately he has been released um, mm -hmm. he has to wear an ankle monitor and had to give up his passport yep. it, you know and I if, if she's upset by that I feel like I would be too it's like mm -hmm. how you what, we're letting him out in New York he's only uh, facing charges in New York right now, right now. and there are only two yep. charges mm -hmm. against him and he says that he is innocent so you know there's the whole due process mm -hmm. don't exactly. he's not guilty until He's innocent until proven guilty, but you know, when everyone is talking about this and your name is now synonymous mm -hmm. with sexual harassment, yes. sexual allegations, um, all of this stuff, it's kind of sad. But yeah, no, he is um, going to be released. Had to give up his passport yeah. because he posed a threat. He's a wealthy man, so they didn't, wanted to make sure he didn't leave the country, and he has an ankle monitor. So we have some words from his lawyer after he left that courthouse that mm -hmm. I want to share with you guys. Many of these allegations are long um, overdue, quite frankly, having been uh, made about events that are alleged to have occurred many years ago. They were not reported to the police at the time these events occurred, and I anticipate that the women who have made these allegations, when subjected uh, to cross-examination in the event we even get that far, that the charges will not be believed by 12 people, assuming we get 12 fair people who are not consumed by the movement that seems to have overtaken this case. Many of these. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm not sure how he expects that to be received by the masses, but right. my initial reaction to that is consumed by the mm -hmm. movement right. seems very aggressive mm -hmm. in his language. And so I want to bring up the tweets and the comments from some of the women who were victims of his abuse. The first one is Rose McGowan. She has been a leader in mm -hmm. the Me Too movement. And she is just hoping and praying that this is an example for the women who have yet to step forward and the mm -hmm. women who are finally telling their truths that mm -hmm. there will be justice at the end of the day. And then we have an Italian actress. Her name is Asia. She was one of the first people to accuse Harvey Weinstein of sexual misconduct and rape back in uh, 1997. And oh, she wow. spoke at Khan. And I want to show you a little excerpt of what she said at Khan. Oh, okay. So in the video, she says that she was 21 mm -hmm. when Harvey Weinstein sexually assaulted her. She was at the film festival, and she called the film festival his playground, the where he would lure these women in. Mm -hmm. 
And so for her today, her one reaction to the news was just boom, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. mic drop. This is the moment they've all been waiting for, like Rob was saying. But everyone at home, we've been listening to people's stories about the Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. Are you are you upset with how the lawyer addressed the women who might potentially come forward saying he hopes that there would be 12 fair people who haven't been consumed by the movement? Right. What do you think about those comments? Because. Like I said, I find them to be very abrasive and offensive. Well, I mean, so just remember his point of view. Mm -hmm. He is being paid by mm -hmm. his client to right. defend him. And uh, one of the things that they will try and do is to seek a fair trial. So uh, I think probably what he's trying to say is that mm -hmm. in that courtroom in New York, uh, that, that the jury pool would be contaminated by the number of stories right. and that that would be maybe not the right location for a fair trial or yeah. uh, you know they're just trying to set the stage to you know that that's the first mm -hmm. step is once they get brought in uh, you know and they're charged then it's about assembling their case and the, the attorneys talking to each other uh, and then trying to figure out the the jury pool and then to whittle that down right. so I, he's just doing his job I mean, that he's getting paid to do that, and exactly. everyone who's accused deserves the right to a fair trial. That's part of how it all works. Um, but, you know, with that said, um, you know, if for, for the victims and for the people, I mean, the, the, there's two people that this is their case. Mm -hmm. It starts today, and I'm sure that they would be upset by those words. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so, guys, Deborah Ann says she doesn't care at all about Hollywood. What she cares about is the hard-working people who do not live in mansions. Okay, that's mm -hmm. a good point that she brings up. Okay. If this can happen, I, I think, Miss Deborah, if this could happen to people in Hollywood who, you you know, you think yeah. the rich and glamorous have this all lifestyle, in my mind, it's like it's happening to them. You know that it's happening to exactly. us hard-working people every day, and people get away mm -hmm. with it every day, and we mm -hmm. don't... You know, we can't call out a Harvey Weinstein because I don't cross paths with Harvey Weinstein, right. but you got to think about all of the men or women, all of the people who think, oh, I am above being called mm -hmm. to the carpet. Right. You gotta think about all of the victims out there who are not actresses, who don't mm -hmm. have this huge platform. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think it was so important to talk about the Me Too mo movement, because if it's happening that high up, you got to know that it's yep. happening down mm -hmm. here. Not down here. It's happening right here with us. What you got? A Facebook viewer, one of our Facebook friends okay. says, hey, it happened to her. Her wow. offender never went wow. to a judge. So it's important that Weinstein sees a judge. So right. to your point, it does happen all the time. Thanks for watching us here on the ABC 10 Information Network. If you want to see more stories just like this one, click subscribe.